There we go, Surface Pro 6, and ooh, let me look here, we've got a Portuguese tart. Mmm, who doesn't like a Portuguese tart? And I even like these cake ones too. So you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro? Or just get killer prices on Windows, Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys? Head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go WOO! So if you're new around here, come on, get on the Woo train. You know I'm going to slam this. I'm going to do multiple reviews. Make sure you subscribe and like if you want to see that. All right, so this is the outer box. The first thing that strikes me is how tiny this box is. It's really small when it comes to the door I'm like is this the actual laptop seriously well this is it so some boxes little beast and filming with the iPhone 10s here 10s max so let me know if you think that quality is acceptable I'll tell you what it makes it a hell of a lot quicker if I'm using this than using my proper camera should I say let's open the box Boom, there it is, ooh, sexy black. Sexy black color. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, nice and sexy. One thing I noticed straight away is this definitely feels light. So also in the box here you have some literature. That's just, you know, surface, blah, blah, blah. And of course, your power brick there. That's all you get. Don't get a pen. You do not get a type cover, you have to buy those separately. So this is the standard power connector here, Australian plug, little power brick there, tiny little power brick, nice and small, elegant. You do of course have the USB on there and you do have the surface connector, which is there. All right, now you do want to follow me on Twitter if you want to know all the benchmarks and the battery life testing. So follow me on Twitter for all those updates. You'll get them quicker than the review and let's just appreciate how sexy this thing is in matte black. Ooh, have a look at that. It is so sexy. Even the finish around the edge is so beautiful. That that band around the outside looks like it's anodized. Let's go on a little tour here. I'll have more surface porn at the end of this video. Let's go on a quick tour. Here's the speaker on the left hand side. Here's the speaker on the right hand side. Um, they sound pretty good for what it's worth. You have the volume rocker and you have the power button there on the top. On the side you have the surface slit there for the power. So no USB-C charging because it doesn't have USB-C. You can see there it has USB type A and mini display port. So there you can see the reflections on the screen. It is very bright, very bright display. I'll show you compared to the Surface 3 in a minute. It is very bright, feels very light. The first thing I notice is how light it is. There's the Surface connector on the bottom. And if you lift up the flap, you do have the micro SD card slot there. So you have that there, matte black. This thing is super sexy. I really like it. You can see the camera on the top there as well. Um, super sexy. Now let's see how it is as a fingerprint magnet. And I'm just putting my fingerprints on here. Oh, I'm ruining it. It will never look as good as it did before. Now you can see there, yeah. It is going to be a fingerprint magnet. But I will say, looking at it front on, you cannot really see. And here... Both screens at maximum brightness here. This is both screens maximum brightness, I kid you not. Surface Pro 6 on the left. Did I say left? On the right. Surface Pro 3 on the left. You can see it's pretty much the same form factor. The bezels are sort of like the same size. But look how much brighter the Surface Pro 6 is on the right. I mean, it's not even a competition. Now, the Surface Pro 3 is four years old, so it would have lost some of its brightness, but... Friggin' hell, that is a big difference there. And obviously the camera is exposing for the Surface Pro 6 display, so it makes it look duller, the Surface Pro 3, but you can notice how much duller it is and looking close here. Look at that pink of that thing. I know what it looks like. It looks fantastic. This display is top notch and I can tell it's color accurate just by looking at the pink of that thing there, that stand. I know what that looks like, and yeah, it is a bit saturated, I would say, but um, it is the color is bang on. So I'm very happy with the color there. So we're running Prime 95, non-AVX, okay? We've got temperatures in the um, 40s, no, in the 67 degrees there, 68, you know, on all the cores there, ran the same, and we have, Drop from 3 gigahertz straight away to 2.5.
Now it is charging, so this is the ultimate torture test. I will test it after it's fully charged too, because obviously with a warmer battery, it may be more conservative on the clocks, but we're getting 2.6. Cannot hear it at all. This is under full load here. We've got, look, 100% utilization. It doesn't get any more stressful than that. Um, Non-AVX, as I said, Prime 95. Cabby Lake R, now this is the 825U, so this is the i5 version. This is not the latest processor from Intel. So this is using Cabby Lake R, it's not using the new Whiskey Lake CPUs. Having said that, there's not much difference between the Whiskey Lake CPUs. Oh, we dropped right down there to 1.8. As long as it's over 1.8, it's not throttling. Okay, 100%. But where's my fans? Where's my fans? What do we got here? It's going to go down here. I want to put it on performance. Give me best performance. Okay, got best performance now. What if, oh, do you saw that speed drop there? Obviously being very conservative because, oh, this doesn't have a fan. It is fanless, that's right. So no noise, Ash. Ash, you're gonna be so excited. No noise, but to control that temperature, it did have to dip there below the 1.8. Now it's on maximum performance here. It's so peaceful, actually. I-5 is the way to go. No fan. How cool is that? And you're getting full I-5 performance here, you know? And this is quad-core, remember? It's not like one of those Core M, Core Ys that you're getting MacBooks, which, you know, are fine for just web surfing and that. You'll be able to video edit with this. You'll be able to, you know, play some casual games, you know, 4K video. It's gonna be like a powerhouse, and I would recommend 16 gigs. This is the eight gig model here. But yeah, look at those temperatures. Well controlled, obviously controlled by the clock there. It did dip slightly below um, 1.8 just for a second. I think that's when I just changed the power setting, so I wouldn't really take anything into that. But I can see here, this is 100% utilization, absolutely silent, no fan. So yeah, i5 is the way to go. Forget about the i7. There's not gonna be that much performance gain and actually it's gonna be worse in some situations where it gets too high, it's gonna be loud. The i5 is the way to go. And 16 gigs, if you can get there, if you can get the 16 gigs, get there. And this is charging and it's still over two gigahertz. So I'm very impressed with the thermals of this. Um, I will update you when the battery's, you know, full and we're running at full speed. Make sure you follow me on Twitter for the latest updates, benchmarks, etc. I'll catch you in the next one. Tully, ho. So come on, have a look how sexy this is. Yes, yes. Look at that black. It's super sexy. Come on. Woo! Oh. So have a look how sexy it is. I'm going to leave you with this porn here, this surface porn. It is super sexy and it's quiet. It's fanless. I love it. Um, yeah. I just may have found oh, I'm not going to say anything yet. I'll catch you in the next one. Tully, ho. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,